what's up youtube this is your boy here rough fit 40 guys and gals and it is beautiful sunday um early afternoon noon and um guys i'm here about to replace my um my door handle on my 09 chevy silverado guys um so i decided to make a quick video on this um if you guys out there whoever out there probably have the same type of truck yeah make and model um it's pretty much um basic it's um pretty simple i ordered this off of amazon guys and I, this, this is like no more than 12 dollars and um i'm gonna just show you guys the steps uh, how you go about replacing this guys it's pretty simple so stay tuned so first what do you want to do guys um you want to you bring this uh all right guys first thing you want to do is you want to take these little caps right here off I gotta uh, pop those little caps and there's one right here take that off guys and there's also there's this one right here I should have probably got a, a, a smaller flathead screwdriver to fit up in between there guys Yeah, all I need is a smaller, a smaller um, flathead screwdriver. This right, got this right here too, guys. You want to um, pop this one up, pop this little. Um, hold on. Having the right tools, guys, is very important. I'm gonna go ahead and get me the right flathead screwdriver, guys. Here's where I keep all my tools. Keep tools, guys. It's one thing I invest in, guys. It is tools. Make sure I have tools. Because I'm always doing something, guys. I'm very hands on. So guys, hopefully this is the right flat screwdriver. I just wanted something that's really small, like that, to fit inside there guys, like that. Uh, now, I just need to pop this right here up. Look at this right here guys, this is what I'm telling you about pop that up take this off guys all right now i think this is like a, a 10 millimeter bolt and i have like two 10 mil 10 milli 10 millimeter bolts up inside there guys gotta get my words right so I would go get my wrench. Now 
just trying to avoid taking my whole tool tool kit outside guys just trying to take what I need let me see and this is all I should need right here guys what I need Okay guys, now I'm going to go take those, um, sorry about all that guys. this morning guys um, I grabbed the wrong damn socket it's actually a 10 millimeter socket guys Hopefully, this is the right, the right size this time, guys. Okay guys, um, I wanted to share with you guys this morning um, what I'm dealing with, right? So guys, let me know what you think, right? Um, you move in, you move into a new house, and you know what I'm saying. Your neighbors uh, is actually a cat, a cat lover, and you know they have like. 50 something cats guys and I don't know if you guys are familiar with cats um, you know cats dig holes right uh, they, dig, they dig holes to use the restroom yeah there's shit in holes and stuff like that and uh, cats not like dogs guys um, dogs don't dig holes you know dogs go wherever the feel is right i guess um cats is a bit different but with cats guys um cats dig holes and to use the bathroom and they just they're so stink guys um to be to be to be a small animal like that they're like really 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 funky guys so i kind of like dealing I'm dealing with a a, a, um, a problem, a, a cat problem, guys. The uh, the neighbor, um, he's sort of kind of like a, a 
a hoider and he got over 50 something cats guys and i guess the the, the previous people who probably used to live here um they probably didn't have a problem with the cats guys coming over here and stuff like that but um so i guess the cats get like really comfortable uh coming on this side and coming you know what i'm saying on this property and shitting and peeing and hanging out and doing everything guys um the cats is even jumping and, and sleeping on my cars so um you know that's a problem guys so you know what i'm saying um i don't know i don't know what's the step to take um uh, but i do know that these damn cats is getting on my nerves guys and uh the owner he seems to he seems to think that um you know people in the neighborhood should be considering his feelings and his cats you know what i'm saying um i don't hate animals guys i don't hate cats i don't hate I, matter of fact i love dogs i, I like animals but I feel like um, at some point you have to, even though you you a dog lover, right, guys? You know, you're a person. Um, you like dogs. Not everyone like dogs, guys. And you know what I'm saying? That's just. I mean, it's a fact. You know, it's a it's facts. You know, not everyone do dogs. And me, I'm a dog lover. So, I understand uh, if someone say uh, they don't like dogs or they don't do dogs. I respect that. You know what I'm saying? Um, and in life, you have to you have to be able to respect um, people' boundaries, respect people' uh, decisions, and respect how people feel about certain things. Because you know, one thing might be a problem to you but it's going to be a problem for the next person so you know what i'm saying in life you just can't be that selfish to don't consider other people feelings guys so um i mean this is what i'm dealing with right now guys if you look right there that is my call uh that's my bmw right there guys and my motorcycle over there is covered. My other car there is covered. And guys, check this out, right? You live next to a person and they live like that guys you know um it's you know that's a problem this person definitely have a problem this person is a hoider there's no reason to live like this guys it's totally no reason you know what i'm saying so this is what i'm dealing with so but anyway guys um back to uh, what i'm doing this morning it's changing my lock, my handle on my 2009 Chevy Silverado, and I wanted to make a quick video, guys. If you, if you didn't know how to do it, and you was uncertain, you know what I'm saying? It's simple, guys. That's the reason why we have YouTube. Save your money.
Also, when you're doing this, guys, and you're taking this door panel off, you want to be careful because it's got clips that hold it. So, if you could see, I'm coming all the way to the end, and I'm just trying this up just a little bit, guys. Just a little bit to get those clips. like that come to the bottom I don't know recording I'm recording Almost forgot this sucker right here, guys. Remember, guys, that if you have a truck like this, there's um there's two bolts right up inside this right here. You gotta click you gotta um remove this to get at those bolts. So before you go trying to, to remove this this door panel right here and you're uncertain and it's holding something is holding, this might be the problem guys. So you gotta make sure all your bolts is out. Okay guys, if you look right up inside here, you're gonna you see these bolts right here. These is the bolts I'll be take I'll be um disconnecting from the, the door handle itself. So I'm about to take that off real quick guys. One, two, up there's one all the way up there and there's one right here, so
because I'm trying not to take any unnecessary stuff off. But you probably don't have to. I'm trying to do I'm trying to go do the shortcut guys. I don't know if it's gonna work. Thank you. 